Okay, YouTube, it's uh, Maker Steve in the workshop again, and uh, I came across an interesting problem I thought I would share. Uh, I did a write up on uh, Quick Connect uh, hot ends that uh, Creality was selling on eBay, and I picked one up and I uh, had problems with it almost instantly. Um, it seemed like it was leaking out of the side of the nozzle. Um, and so I contacted them and they sent me another one. Um, not a big deal. So I replaced it, put a brand new one in, and it's the cotton and captain tape are actually melting off the hot end, um, which I thought was pretty interesting. So I pulled the old one out and I looked at it and it is melted all the way around and I picked at it with a razor blade a little bit and tried to remove it and what happens is you get <coughs> uh, burnt material in your 3d print uh, and you can see there pretty clearly what's going on um, there's some fibrous hairs that are kind of nasty and I've got multiple prints like that where this hairy material well then uh, you know I, I couldn't figure out where the stuff was coming from and I have seen it before but I didn't know what it was and then this print um, stopped and had this black crunchy thing hanging off of it and uh, of course the nozzles all plugged up and the print did not complete so I reached out to Creality again, and uh, they're sending me uh, another one. So what I thought I'd do is show you the fix I'm going to use to make this Quick Connect hot end uh, good to go going in combat here, because uh, that's the whole goal is to make these printers as reliable as we can make them. So again, I've got a brand new. Uh, quick connect that uh, Creality sent me. It came with uh, you know the cotton wrap and the captain tape. And we are just going to ditch this right out of the gate. Careful with your thermistor wires. Now I should be able to remove that and see the hot end. Looks pretty good. And I have a uh, silicon sock I'm going to put on this. And I haven't used them before. Um, but I had a couple laying around just waiting for a, a problem and boom! Now I've insulated my, my uh, hot end. So we'll replace this guy using our uh, quick connect tools and I've uh, modified this printer to 2 millimeters uh, or 0.2 millimeter prints and uh, this uh, thing has been running for a better part of a year um, but I've kind of stripped out the the nuts a little bit holding the fans in. Um, but they still they still hold, they're just uh, spin a little bit from probably being over tightened a time or two. Um, but I'll get that fan off of there. So I've been through quite a hot end experience trying to find replacement hot ends and I haven't bought uh, a new Creality head. Um, I've been, I went through a bunch of knockoffs off uh, eBay, um, really poor uh, copies of hot ends. Um, they don't have any insulation, it's just wrapped in captain tape, um, definitely not the same quality. And it's got a uh, 
two millimeter uh, tube of PTFE on the inside. It's not exactly the same hot end, even though it says it is. So I found these quick connect ones. Not that I change them very often when everything's going well. Um, a hot end lasts a good year um, if all goes well. And uh, also well, here I am swapping this thing out again and hoping this is the last time for a while. Um, so we'll move these last two screws. Of course, I could have heated this up prior to, but I didn't. And I don't want to break that, so I'll get that out of there. And I don't know if I can clean this hot end up. Um, put a sock on it and be able to use it later. I just don't know if that's going to work. So, and of course, I do everything a little. Uh, The hard way, um, that's kind of my MO. heat up the hot end and uh, make it so we can get that uh, PTFE or Teflon tubing out and uh, move on to the next one and see if that solves our problem. So we're at about 146 right now. And she will, 175, she should start cooperating. There we go. Okay, shove our filament through a little bit so we can snip it and pull it back, turn off our printer,
take a look at this. <clears throat> Probably worth a snip with our PTFE cutter. Want to make sure it's square. Okay. Disconnect this hot end. Grab the one with the new sock. I plug the right one into the right one. That'd be a uh, so red to red. You want to make sure that the wire didn't get shoved out at the top. I do kind of look at this uh, quick connect as another uh, point of failure in the system. So I'm not sure I'm 100% sold on them, uh, but the idea is pretty fantastic. Slide that up in there. Line the screw holes up. I've been using uh, Loctite thread locker, especially on these two screws, um, because I had a couple instances where the uh, hot end came loose. And it's time to print another fang. Um, I'm using super glue at this point to keep the fan on um, because I've replaced them and uh, ended up buying the uh, wrong fans. I was buying uh, 5 volt fans and they were burning up and I didn't realize what was going on. Uh, I will be uh, doing up a parts list for you to find uh, the best parts for your Creality printer here in the next few days. Get that one started. Snuggin'. Nice. Doesn't take much on this. Uh, to get them to go in and stay in. And the fang will wiggle a bit. Um, the important thing is that the uh, hot end uh, mounted to the uh, hot end assembly carriage uh, doesn't. So we've got that going. And then uh, got a min temp error again. the 
this one off. Of course it doesn't want to cooperate because I'm on the spot. And you slide that down in there. Now, uh, make sure you pay attention to how deep it was before because it needs to go in that distance again. Uh, my little cheater bar for holding that down while I push is the small wrench that came with your Creality printer. And I just give it a pop and feed it in. So at this point, we uh, have replaced place the hot end and uh, I'm going to give it a go and uh, I'll post an update um, based on the results. Thanks for watching. There's more coming.